you're watching Smart Ups for Kids and we are going to investigate inside Magic Store Math today. Let us choose a user. In fact, we will create a user that is going to be me. I would quite like to have a capital letter at the beginning of my name. There we go. Good. Create. So that's me. And let's press play. Store owner, Ellie, week one, day one. Hello. Welcome to the Magic Store. You are the clerk and your job is to assist customers with magic item purchases. That sounds cool. All right. Tick. Here you can see the status of the game. You start on day one in week one. The game lasts for 15 weeks. Holy moly. Here is a timer that measures how long it takes you to assist all the customers of the day. Uh-huh. Here you can see the error count of the day. Da -dum. And this is your first customer. Above him, you can see the magic items he wants to buy. So he wants, hmm, tap the items the customer asked for. So this fancy book here in the green, which costs 60, and this green wand. Now you need to calculate the total costs of the magical items. You can use mental calculation and enter the cost directly into the cash register. But let's do something different this time, okay? You can use money tokens to help you calculator. calculate. Tap this button to see how that works. So use money. Up here you can see the items and their prices. This button turns the item price into money tokens. Tap it to see what happens. This looks good. Look, now you have money tokens corresponding to the item price. Good, we're breaking it down. Tap this button to do the same for the other item and see its price as money tokens. Okay. Oh, tap this button, sorry. Now you can move the money tokens around as you wish to help you calculate the total cost of the items. Okay, so we can move them around here. Put a 50 over here. We can even stack them like this. Move a money token onto the split area to split it into lesser value tokens. Try it now. So 50. Oh, look, now they're all in tens. Well done. You can also combine money tokens. If you move enough money tokens onto the combine area, they change into a higher value token. Try combining money tokens. For example, the tokens you got from the split you did just now. So let's do that. Okay, so how about that? Can we combine them? Nope. All right. So we can take them up to 50. Okay, good. Now you know how to use the money token area. Once you're done calculating the total cost of the ordered items, you enter the number into the cash register and tap the blue button to let the customer know you are done. Let's do that. All right, so if we've got 50, let's split it up. So we could even count in tens if we wanted to. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's the long way, but there we go. 70, tick. Well done! Here you can see the payment from the customer. Accept it by tapping this blue button. So he's done 50, 10, 10. Good work, customer. You'd like this. Right, well done. Now you should be able to assist customers without help. <laughs> Let's hope so. Let's see. Good luck. Right, we want this uh, creepy hand in a jar, which is 80. And we want this green emerald stick, which is 10. Use money. Let's go and do it. Let's uh, bring them all down. So we've got, oh good, so the, we've split this into, we can put them all in tens again if we wish. Let's see if we can get enough. Can we, doot, 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 doot. let's put that back here. Can we combine them to, okay, so it only combines them up to 50. So we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There we go. And we want to, uh, put them over in the cash register. 90. Tick. Alright, I uh, so he's paid me 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Alright, exactly what I had there. Thank you, you're welcome. Ooh, you'd like this same one. It's very popular at the moment. And this um, scary looking guy in a jar. Let's use our money. Can we split them? So they come down in 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40. So 40. Tick. This is fun. You're welcome, she said. Thank you. Week one, day one. We spent one minute 38 doing that. And we got none wrong. And we did really well. Store owner, week one, day two. Right, you'd like some blue gems. They're 20. And some ooh, blue stuff in a vial. Let's do this here. So let's pull them down. So we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There we go, he's paying me, which is good. 
What would you like? You'd like this green book. This is what the first guy wanted. You know what? I can remember this from the first time. Oh, not 700. There we are, 70. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, you'd like this guy and this. Righty. Oh, let's use money. Let's pull them down. And let's see if... Can we split tens? Oh, we can into fives. We don't want to do that. Let's put these back here. So we've got 50 already. Let's... Two, three, four, five... Look at that. Now we got two fifties. Fifty plus ten plus four. Five plus five is ten. Put the zero back on. That makes a hundred. Fifty plus fifty is one hundred. Yeah. You got a hundred dollar coin. Good on you. Okay. We did slick, slick work that time. Week one, day three. What would you like? Oh, a jar full of black goopy things and this. Radio. So we can use our money. We can pull them all down. Look at that. So let's combine them. Fun. There we go. They're 50. Excellent job. All right. What's next? Oh, you'd like these and this. 20 and 10. I can do that without having to split it or use my money. So that's 30. And she's given me three 10 pieces. What are we getting now? You'd like this and this guy. Ooh. Let's use the money. Let's pull them all down. They're all in tens, so let's see if they combine up to anything. They do. They combine up to 50. Oh, we're getting slick. Let's try it on the little one. Week one, day four. Okay, you'd like this and you'd like this. Oh, they're scary. Right, so that one's 50. Let's see what happens when we get to the end of the week. So let's move along a bit. Well, I'll only split the money if it starts getting challenging. Oh, that's pretty challenging, actually. 40 and 50, so that's 9, 0, 90. And you've given me 50 and 4 tenths. And you would like this and this jar full of these guys, and that's 50 doing well here. Right, next. I know. Okay, let's zoom through. There's, oops, no, 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 90. That jar of little black scary things is scaring me. And you'd like this guy and this one. Which is 40, oops, 40, no, oh, well, actually, that's correct, so. And you'd like this and this, which is 70, so at the moment, I'm thinking we're going to level up when we get to the next week, because we're currently working in tens. Now, uh, let's see, all right. Mm, drink, drink. And we got 70 here. And so we're doing a good practice of working in tens and working in amounts under a hundred. And you'd like this and this, so we got 90. And you'd like this and this, would you? Okay, hold on. There we go. And that is 70. Radio, we're up to day seven. Hello, you'd like this, and you'd like the green one, and that's 40, tick, you've given me four tens, good work, and you'd like this, and this, there's a run on this, this combination, it must be a set thing that you need for a particular year level, and we need this, and this, and that's 80, dook, dook, dook. there we go, now, we are now on to week two. Week one, we got three stars. We did it in five minutes, 52. And we've been awarded three items to add to our store. Cool. What about this green bubbly stuff? Uh, full of, thing full of eyeballs and mm, maybe this fiery guy. Mm. Brilliant. So week two, day one. Let's see what we got now. So you would like this, and where did my fiery guy go? There he is. 
Okay, so we're still working in turns, which is cool. We've just got more items. This is fun. This cus- Ooh, see, I told you we were going to level up. This customer pays more than the total amount. This means you need to give him change. Tap, tap this button to accept the payment. So, it cost us 90. He's given us 100. Oh, cool. All right. Total cost for items. It is 90. They paid 100. Above, you can see the total item cost and below how much the customer paid. Here are the money tokens used to pay. Let's split them, hey? You can split the tokens if needed and move them around to keep your payments separate. That way you can see how much change to give the customer. When you finish calculating how much change to give, you enter the amount into the cash register to tap the blue button. Don't forget that to help you calculate, you can split and combine money tokens. Let's do it. So let's uh, split into 50-50. And let's split one, another one of these. Good, so we have got 90, right? So it costs 90, it says, so up here. So we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There's what we have left. So there you are, 10 for you. And what would you like? Great job, now you can calculate how much change you should give back to customers who pay more than the total item cost. This is fun, so you're gonna level up each time, and I'm really enjoying this. 20, 60, so let's use our money. Oh, actually, no, let's not do that. We can do this without the money, but let's find out about the change. So he's given us $100. Let's go and use our, no, hold on. Let's go and use our money. So total cost, let's split it. So there's split it again. So his total cost is 80, 50, 60, 70, 80. There's our return change, 10 and 10 makes 20. Cool. What would you like? You want these guys and these guys. What are you gonna make with that? Ooh, so that's 80 all up. How much are you giving me? 100 again. So let's go and do that. Let's split our 100 and let's split our 50. So we got 50, 60, 70, 80. Hold on, is that right? Did I lose one? Oh, <laughs> going insane. Okay, so there's 20 left. Good. All right, you can see how this works. You can see that this is fun. And we will be leveling up next week, I think. So I'm going to keep on playing through this week and I'm going to see you, well, see you next time for some more fun magic items, buying and selling. Thank you for watching. Now, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up for new app demos every single day.